Solving Multi-Step Complex Equations. Okay, first of all, we're going to recall how to simplify expressions using PEMDAS. So re recall, PEMDAS means parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, subtract. So that means we're going to start by simplifying parentheses. Here, can we do anything with the parentheses? Can we take x minus 1? Not really, because we don't know what x is. So there's nothing to do with the parentheses. Exponents, I don't have any. So I'm going to start with multiplying. The first thing I'm going to multiply is this negative 2. I'm going to distribute it into each into everything in the parentheses. So I'm going to leave the 9x like it is, and I'm going to distribute the negative 2. Make sure you remember the negative goes with it. So I get negative 2x plus 2. Negative 2 times negative 1 is a positive 2. And that 7 comes down as well. Okay, next I just need to combine like terms. Like terms would be this 9x and the negative 2x. So 9x minus 2x is 7x. And then my other like terms are the 2 and the 7. So that's as simplified as I can make it, 7x plus 9. Okay, to solve multi-step equations, these are our steps. First of all, you're going to simplify both sides. The way you simplify both sides is um, if you need to, you put a 1 in front of lonely variables. You use the distributive property like we just did and you combine like terms like we just did as well. So we're trying to look at each side individually, get them as simplified as possible, and then we'll go further with solving. To actually solve it, we're going to use inverse operations to solve. So we want the x on all x terms on one side and all of the other terms on the other side. Okay, here's our first one. So first of all, I want to look at just each side of the equal sign. Right now, the right side of the equal sign is just 20. That's as simplified as it can get, so there's nothing to do over there. But the left side, we can do a little simplifying. I can combine these two like terms. So 8x minus 3x, I will get 5x, and bring everything else down. Now, this is just like um, our video before with two-step equation. We want to add or subtract something over first, and then multiply or divide. So I'm going to add the 10 over. and then divide by 5. And there we go. So the only new thing really is simplifying sides of the equation before you actually do your two-step solving. Alright, and number two, same idea here. Looks like the left side is completely simplified, it's just 32. But on the right side we can combine some like terms. So I'm just going to bring down the 32 on the right side we can combine 9d and negative 2d make sure you remember that that minus sign means negative 2 so bring it with the 2 9d minus 2d is going to be 7d plus 4 stays the same we haven't done anything with that yet and now it's a two-step equation we're going to subtract the 4 over and then divide by 7. Alright, in number 3 it looks like we have parentheses going on. So remember, that always means to distribute. We're going to distribute this 2 to everything in the parentheses. So we get 7x plus 2x plus 12 equals 39. Okay, my like terms on the left side that I combine, I can combine are the 7x and the 2x. That makes 9x. And now it's just a two-step equation. Subtract the 12 over. And divide by 9. Okay, in our last one here, we have negative x plus 7 equals 16. So I'm going to go ahead and just make that negative 1x plus 7 equals 16. So the first thing we're going to do is subtract the 7 over.
and then divide by the negative 1. This is the part that most people forget here is to divide by a negative 1. So if you forget to put this as a negative 1 x right here, you may accidentally drop your negative sign and you would have come out with the answer x equals 9. But that's not our answer, so you want to make sure that you always put that negative 1 there, or at least remember to divide by a negative so that you get the correct answer. Okay, pause your video, try this one on your own, restart it, and watch me do it. Alright, first of all, we need to distribute our negative 4 to everything in the parentheses. Make sure you distribute the negative 4, not just a 4. So 5x comes down, stays the same. Then we get negative 4x, negative 4 times x, and we're going to get a positive 12 because that's negative 4 times negative 3. And that equals 17. Okay, so now we need to combine like terms on the left. We have 5x minus 4x, so that's going to be a 1x plus 12 equals 17. And subtract our 12 over. There we go, we get x equals 5. You may notice that I just dropped the 1. Okay, so I had a 1 here and then I just dropped it. Well, I knew I wasn't going to need to divide by it because it wasn't a negative 1. And 1x is the same thing as x. If you really wanted to, you could have left it here, divided both sides by 1, and you would get x equals 5 still. Okay, here we have a rectangle, and it has the area of 144 inches, and it has a width of 6 inches. We want to find the length. Just as a reminder, the formula for area is area equals length times width. So we're going to plug in 144 for our area. We're going to plug in 6 for the width, and we're just going to use L for length. So here we need to solve this. 144 equals L times 6. We want to get the L alone, so I need to get rid of this 6. It's attached by multiplication, so I'm going to divide both sides by 6. On the left I get 24, and on the right side the 6's cancel out and all I'm left with is an L. So here my length is 24 inches. Let's see if I can fit inches in there. If you need to double check, you could always say, okay, 6 times 24, that's 144, so I know I have the right answer. Okay, this next one has to do with perimeter. The perimeter of a rectangle is 536 inches. The width of the rectangle is 2 less than twice the length. What are the length and the width? Below here you see we have our perimeter formula. Perimeter is 2 times length plus 2 times width. So let's start by plugging in our total which is 536 and 2 times the length looks like our length is what we're trying to find right let's see the width of the rectangle is 2 less than 2 times the length let's write that first the width of the rectangle is 2 less than twice the length so twice the length here would be 2 times the length and 2 less than that we'd subtract 2 off Okay, so we're going to put L in for length, that's a cursive L, plus 2 times. Well, we don't know the width, but we know that it's equal to this. So I'm going to plug that into my parentheses, and then I'll distribute. So anytime you get a problem, and it's telling you one variable in terms of another, so here it says the width is 2 less than twice the length, you write it that way, and you plug it in as 2L minus 2. That way, we have this now all in terms of L, and we can solve this. So we're going to start by distributing through the parentheses. So we get 4L minus 4. We're going to combine like terms on the right side. And now it's just a two-step problem. We're going to add the 4 over. Come back over here. And then divide by 6. Inches. And there we go.